Well, liver cancer is a very difficult uh, cancer. It has uh, multi-drug resistance, and uh, we do have some small molecule chemotherapy drug approved by FDA for treating liver cancer. And we do have some checkpoint inhibitor therapies for treating liver cancer. And we do need more new therapies for treating liver cancer because liver cancer, like many other solid tumors, are very difficult, a challenger in solid tumor immunotherapy. There are many barriers in liver cancer, extracellular matrix of the liver cancer, cirrhosis of the liver cancer, and uh, penetration of the drugs, in this case, CAR T cells into the liver, and uh, and whether they are still active in the tumor microenvironment. On the other hand, uh, we study on the tumor target, it's called GPC3, because we believe this is a highly tumor-specific antigen. This antigen uh, is on the cell surface. It's expressing early development. Uh, for some unknown etiologies, it's elevated again in cancer, in this case, liver cancer. So it makes it a very attractive target. We have analyzed this uh, target in terms of expression, and it's low in oncogenic signalings and such in the lab. And those studies lead us to develop the, the CAR T cells for treating the hepatocellular carcinoma. So in general, we are not only doing the T cell therapies, we are also collaborating with uh, other groups developing NK cells and other immune cells, and also antibody drug conjugate by specific antibody, T cell engager, NK cell engagers, all different uh, tools to use the antibody we developed called YP7 to treat the liver cancer. So very excited to see how many of these uh, different drug formats will play a role in liver cancer therapy. So at this point, we just hope that the more and more clinical studies will be uh, conducted and uh, we will validate further whether GPC3 could be a clinical relevant target in liver cancer and be able to treat those liver cancer patients.